Yeah. Good afternoon to everyone. Good afternoon. Okay. Thank you. No, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Thank you. Uh, okay. So, so I'm going to start power series. Uh, I think for mechanical students, um, I started power series and I solved one problem. So, maybe if maximum it will take five minutes. Uh, okay. I will finish. I will finish it. Okay. Just you can listen one one more time. Okay. So power series. Uh, actually, this is a definition. Uh, a series of the form summation n equal to zero to infinity, c n into z minus a whole power n is equal to c naught plus c one into z minus a plus c two into z minus a whole square plus and so on. Is called a power series in powers of uh, z minus a, where z is a complex variable. And the constant uh, c naught, c one, c two are called coefficients, and the constant uh, a, a is called the center of the series. Okay. So most of the definitions and the theorems relating to convergence of uh, infinite uh, series of real terms uh, with uh, with which the reader is uh, familiar okay so now uh, we are going to uh, 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 study the uh, series of complex terms okay so keep, okay now uh, it can be proved that uh, there exists a positive real number r such that the uh, the power series given above converges for mod z minus a less than r and diverges this series is diverges for mod z minus a is greater than r while it may or may not converges when mod z minus a equal to r so this means that the power series converges at all points inside the circle mod z minus a equal to r and uh, diverges at all points outside the circle and may or may not converges converge on the circle so due to this interpretation r is called radius of convergence of the above series <coughs> and the circle mod z minus a equal to r is called circle of convergence Okay, I think this point. Uh, uh, okay, uh, uh, the last class for mechanical students I missed, so now I included. Power series play an important role in complex analysis, since they represent analytic function, analytic functions, and conversely, every analytic function has a power series representation. So every analytic function has a power series representation called Taylor series uh, that are uh, uh, similar to uh, what you studied Taylor series in real calculus. Analytic function can also be expressed by another type of series called Lorentz series, which consists of positive and negative integral powers of the independent variable. So they are useful for evaluating complex and real integrals. Okay. So this is the Taylor series or Taylor's theorem. If f of z is analytic inside a circle C0, so this is a circle C0 with the center at A and the radius R0, then each point z inside the circle c dot okay you can write f of z equal to f of a plus f dash of a by one factorial into z minus a plus f double dash of a by two factorial into z minus a whole square and so on if you substitute a equal to zero in the taylor series we get maclaurin series of f of z that is f of z equal to f of a plus f dash of a by one factorial into z 
plus f double dash of uh, 0 by 2 factorial with tz square plus and so on. Okay. Now, I think uh, you know this result okay, using binomial theorem. We can get if mod x is less than 1, then 1 minus mod x so whole power minus 1, 1 plus x whole power minus 1. Okay, because uh, uh, you, uh, okay, I'm going to use these results in the uh, problems, uh, so you should know these results. Okay, so first problem obtain Taylor series for the following functions. So there are six problems here. So, first we will discuss the first one uh, obtain the Taylor series for f of z equal to sine z about uh, z equal to pi by 4. Here a equal to pi by 4. So uh, f of z equal to sin z, a equal to pi by 4. So first we should write the Taylor series uh, that is f of z equal to f of a plus z minus a by 1 factorial into f dash of a and so on. So f of z is what? Sin z and then f dash of z, f double dash of z f triple dash of z, first you should find uh, and then find corresponding point uh, f of a, a is pi by 4. So sine pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 and then f dash of pi by 4 is uh, cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. f double dash of 1 by 4, we substitute z equal to pi by 4 here, we get minus 1 by root 2 and f triple dash of pi by 4 is again minus cos pi by 4 minus 1 by root 2. So now you should substitute everything in this equation. Okay. So uh, left hand side is what? Left hand side is f of z. <coughs> f of z is what? Sin z. F of a. a is pi by 4. So f of pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. And then z minus a. a is pi by 4 divided by 1 factorial. f dash of pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. Okay. Similarly, Next term, z minus a, a is pi by 4 whole square divided by 2 factorial into f double dash of a, that is f double dash of pi by 4 is minus 1 by root 2 and so on. Okay, so this is the, uh, this is the required Taylor series expansion of the function f of z equal to sin z about the point z equal to pi by 4. Next to subdivision 2. f of z equal to cos z f of z equal to cos z okay so now uh, I need to find what about the point z equal to 0 okay so about uh, about the point z equal to 0. So first uh, find the f dash of, okay, let us take f of z, cos z, f dash of z is uh, minus sin z, and then f double dash, f triple dash. Then find f of 0, cos 0 is 1, f dash of 0, sin 0, 0, f double dash of 0, minus cos 0 is minus 1, f triple dash of 0, sin 0, 0. Okay. So, and then write the uh, Taylor series. What is the Taylor series expansion? I think it's equal to 0. At z equal to 0, so f of, uh, uh, f of z equal to at a equal to 0, not z equal to 0, at a equal to 0, uh, that is what, f, first I will write f of a plus z minus a divided by 2 fa 1 factorial into f dash of a plus z minus a whole square divided by 2 factorial 
into f double dash of a and so on. So now uh, at a equal to zero, that is f of zero plus z by one factorial f dash of zero plus z square by two factorial into f double dash of zero plus and so on. Okay, so what is f of z? f of z is cos z f of 0 is 1, okay, and then uh, f dash of 0, z by 1 factorial, f dash of 0 is 1, uh, 0, f dash of 0 is 0, plus z square by 2 factorial, f double dash of 0 is minus 1, and so on, okay. So what is uh, next term? Is it cube by three factorial? Okay, f triple dash. You will get what? F triple dash is uh, zero. Yeah, zero. Yeah, it is zero. Okay, and then plus is that power four by four factorial or more term? Uh, f uh, four dash is one. cos is that? Okay, cos zero is one. Yes. Thank you, Shaitanya. Yeah, one and so on. Okay, now, cos, I think you know, cos is an expansion. Okay, so 1 minus z square by 2 factorial plus uh, z power 4 by 4 factorial and then minus and so on. So, this is the Taylor series expansion about uh, for cos z at about z equal to 0. The third subdivision is. Uh, f of z equal to log z, okay, about z equal to 0, okay, about z equal to 0, uh, not r, okay, I think it should be if, if mod z is less than 1, okay. So, okay. so next subdivision 3. Function is f of z equal to log of 1 plus z. About z equal to 0 if mod z is less than 1. So here a equal to 0. So f of z. log 1 plus z, f dash of z, 1 by 1 plus z, f double dash, minus 1 by 1 plus z whole square, f triple dash, 2 by 1 plus z whole cube, uh, f4 dash is minus 6 divided by 1 plus z whole power 4. Okay. So now uh, find uh, what is f of 0 log 1. Okay. Well, log 1 is 0. And then f dash of 0 is uh, 1. f double dash of 0 is 2 f uh, double dash of 0 is, sorry. 1, sir. Yeah. Minus 1. Minus 1, yeah. Okay. And then f triple dash of 0 is 2. And then f 4 dash of 0 is minus 6. Okay, now you should substitute everything in the McLaren series because here a equal to 0. So directly I will write uh, McLaren series. f of z equal to f of 0 plus z by 1 factorial 
in two f dash of zero. So I'll write one more term. Z square by two factorial into f double dash of zero plus and so. So f of z is log of one plus z. F of zero. You can check it. Zero. Z by one factorial. F dash of zero is what? One. So please substitute and then get the answer. Z square by two factorial. F double dash of zero. Of minus one. Plus. Z cube by three factorial. And then minus one. Next uh, two. And then minus six. Okay. Two and then plus z power four by four factorial into minus six and so on. Or log of one plus z equal to z minus z square by two factorial. Okay, this is uh, after cancelling two z cube by three. So Okay, this is what you to write 2. Okay, is it q by 3? After cancelling 4, uh, minus z power 4. Yeah, 24, 24, yeah, minus z power 4 by 4. Okay. So this is, uh, you know, I'll be log of 1 plus x, okay, plus and so on. Okay. And then what is the next subdivision? 4. F of z equal to 1 by z uh, about the point uh, a equal to 1. Subdivision 4. F of z equal to 1 by z. Okay. Uh, about z equal to 1. Okay. Or at, at z equal to 1. So here I am going to do a little bit differently. I'm not going to uh, differentiate. Okay. So one by z, we can write uh, because at z equal to one. That's why I'm going to add and subtract one. Okay. Minus one plus one. Because it's, uh, I'm going to expand about z equal to one. So now uh, you can write this is uh, one by one plus z minus 1. Okay, well, 1 plus uh, 1 plus z minus 1. Or you can write this is uh, 1 plus z minus 1 whole power minus 1. Okay, now if you expand this, you'll get 1 minus uh, 1 plus x whole power minus 1. So plus z minus 1 whole square minus z minus uh, 1 whole cube and so on. So this is true if uh, mod z minus 1 is uh, less than 1. So subdivision 5 this subdivision 5. f of z equal to 1 by z minus 2 at z equal to 1. So f of z equal to 1 by z minus 2 at the point z equal to 1. Okay. So about or at the point z equal to 1, that's why I am going to write z minus 2 is z minus 1 because I need at z equal to 1. So that's why I split like this. Okay, now uh, this is equal to, uh, I'll write minus 1, this minus 1 and then plus z minus 1. Okay. So, or you can write, you can take uh, commonly minus 1. You take commonly minus 1, the numerator I will put minus 1 divided by 1 minus of z minus 1. Or 
uh, minus i will write in the numerator 1 minus uh, z minus 1 whole power minus 1 okay, this is how the form 1 minus x 1 minus x whole power minus 1 so 1 minus of 1 plus x and this is z minus 1 plus z minus 1 whole square plus z minus 1 whole cube and so on okay so i think there is one last subdivision okay i will i will uh okay similar type of problem i will do it you can try this problem is a practice problem okay but i will do now i'm going to do the problem which is uh, similar to this one so you need to apply partial fraction and then you need to expand using uh Taylor series okay so please write the problem f of z equal to expand expand f of z equal to z plus 1 uh, divided by z minus 3 to z minus 4 as a tally series about about the point z equal to 2 okay the solution so actually the, the denominator is z minus 3 into z minus 4 so the function f of z is not analytic uh, at uh, z equal to 3 and z equal to 4 okay so you need to choose the circle okay or okay carefully so you are you are uh, a C okay or well, closed curve should not contain uh, the point is three and four okay so suppose if you have a this is three this is uh, four so about you need to expand about is that equal to two that means uh, this is uh, center this is a center so you should choose uh, a radius is uh, one okay less than one so then only uh, you have uh, a circle, okay, which does not contain three and four. Okay, so uh, we are going to find the expansion of this series only in this uh, circle. Okay, this is valid only if in the uh, if uh, uh, about the point that means mod is at minus two or uh, less than one. Okay, in this region only, this is valid, the expansion of this series. Okay. So now, uh, okay, I will write next page. Yeah. Solution, f of z is not analytic. At is that equal to three and is that equal to four? Okay. So if the center of the circle is is that equal to two? Okay. Uh, the distance, okay, is the distance the distances the distance of singularity is that equal to three and is that equal to four from the center.
R one and two. So hence we consider the circle with the center at two center at is that equal to two and the radius less than one. So that is that equal to three okay, is that equal to three and is that equal to four are excluded from the region. So that is, uh, as I told you already, your region is mod uh, z minus 2 less than 1. That is center at 2, radius 1. So hence, uh, OK. Now what is f of z? What is your f of z? z plus 1 by? z minus 3 into z minus 4. So using partial fraction, find the value of a and b. So z plus 1 equal to a divided by z minus 3 plus b divided by z minus 4. So z plus 1 equal to a into z minus 4 plus b into z minus 3. Okay, now if you substitute z equal to 3, 4 equal to minus a. This is 0. So this implies a equal to minus 4. And if you substitute z equal to 4, 5 equal to 0 plus b, so b equal to 5. So if you substitute this value here in this equation, we have z plus 1 divided by z minus 3 into z minus 4. Uh, a is uh, minus 4, minus 4 divided by z. Uh, minus 3 and the b, b is so 5 by z minus 4. Okay, so now uh, I need to expand the series about the point what about uh, z equal to 2. So, but uh, the assumption is what mod z minus 2 is less than 1. So that's the reason I'm going to take this z minus 2 equal to some variable u. So let us take uh, z minus 2 equal to u. So mod z minus 2 less than 1. Okay, well, that is the circle of convergence. We know that already. So this implies mod u is less than 1. Okay mod u is uh, less than 1 and then uh, okay now uh, instead of z minus 3 okay you can write what uh, z minus 2 minus 1 now so instead of z minus 1 you can replace by what u so z minus 3 you can replace by u minus 1 okay and then z minus 4 equal to z minus 2 minus 2 z minus 2 is a u so u minus 2 so now actually this is f of z 
this is what f of z f of z equal to minus 4 divided by z minus 3 is u minus 1 plus 5 divided by z minus 4 is u minus 2 okay so we know that uh, mod u is less than 1 so from this uh, that's why i could take minus 1 commonly from the denominator so 4 divided by 1 minus u plus uh, sorry if you take uh, minus 2 you will get what 5 uh, 1 by 1 by 2 1 by minus 2 here you have 5 it took minus 2 commonly remaining is what 1 minus u by 2 okay the reason is we know that uh, mod u is less than 1 so this implies uh, uh, this is this should be what uh, mod u less than 1 implies this is less than 2 so this implies mod u by 2 is less than 1 so you can also expand this one also because since my u by 2 is less than 1 so here this is u by 1 is less than 1 so this is equal to if you expand the first one, you will get what? 4 into 1 minus u whole power minus 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 5 by 2. It is better to write minus 5 by 2 uh, into 1 minus uh, u by 2 whole power minus 1. So expand and get the answer. So 4 into 1 plus u plus u square plus uh, u cube and so on minus 5 by 2 1 plus u by 2 plus uh, u by 2 whole square okay u by 2 whole cube and so on okay so, so th this is the required uh, Taylor series expansion, but the final answer it should be right in terms of z. Here, yeah, four into uh, actually this is what summation n equal to uh, zero to infinity u power n. Okay, this is minus five by two summation n equal to zero to infinity u by two whole power n or we know that u equal to what z minus 2 so 4 into summation n equal to 0 to infinity z minus 2 whole power n minus 5 by 2 into summation n equal to 0 to infinity z minus 2 divided by 2 whole power n Okay, so similarly, you can try the uh, fifth uh, problem that means uh, the same idea. Okay, so z plus uh, 3 by uh, okay, z minus 1 into z minus 4. Okay, about the point z equal to 2. So, okay, so you can try. That one. Now, uh, Okay, next problem. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Sir. Yeah, please tell. Sir, can you explain that convergence part again? Okay. I am expecting from Jaya. Okay, so which part exactly? So no convergence part theory. Convergence for this problem, huh? No, sir. Oh, yeah. Very in, start you thought. Oh, in general. Yes, sir. Okay. 
yeah actually uh, uh, it can be okay suppose uh, uh, if there exists a positive number r okay such that the power series uh, given above converges for mod z minus a is less than r and the diverges uh, mod z minus a greater than r okay uh, so this is for uh, not only for uh, uh, Taylor series so in general for power series okay they are given suppose this uh, is, is it converges means uh, you know it has some finite uh, limit okay so when it is a uh, we can find a number r such that modulus of z minus a if less than r then this is converges and uh, if it is greater than r it goes to the series goes to is uh, infinity diverges okay and uh, if it is equal to r exactly equal to r uh, it may or may not uh, converges so then we say that this uh, with the, that we say that that circle mod z minus a equal to r is a circle of convergence that is a center at a radius r okay and uh, r is called radius of convergence and we know that the modulus of z minus a is a circle of convergence so this is the uh, definition okay so uh, you got it uh, they are Understood, sir. Okay. Yeah. Sir, uh, can you repeat the theory part of the sum sorry, you have done? Sorry, sorry. Sir, can you repeat this uh, theory part for the sum you have done last? Last sum, ma'am. Ah, yes, sir, last. Okay, theory part. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I told here. Z equal to 3 and Z equal to 4, uh, the function is not analytic at Z equal to 3 and Z equal to 4. Okay, well, so but we need to expand it, say, a Taylor series about the point Z equal to 2. So now I am going to choose R, circle of, that is a radius of convergence, that is R, capital R. Okay, well, that is less than 1. So if it is a greater than one, it will include the point three. Okay, if it is greater than two, it will include the point four also. So to avoid this thing, I am choosing capital R is strictly less than one. So send the circle uh, that is uh, z minus a mod z minus a less than r. Generally, generally I told just now. So here a is two, and r is one. Okay. So if you choose your uh, region like this, then uh, your uh, expansion is uh, valid, okay, only in this region, okay. If it goes outside, you have a problem because you have z equal to three and z equal to four are uh, the at the point. This is not analytic, so that's why I choose. Uh, okay, here I I I, I explain the distance of singularity of z equal to 3 and z equal to 4 from the center from the center is what from the center is 2 from here you have 1 from here you have 2 distance so that is the reason i took uh, uh, center is 2 and radius is strictly less than 1 okay are you got shiva now yes sir got it sir, oh. sir yeah that is taylor series possible if there are finite discontinuities uh yes teleseries is possible so then you... why in this case like that uh yeah it is, here here also it is expanded but uh, only in the in this region okay well, you are asking about uh, that these two points you are telling that uh, a finite number of because the function is not analytic here at z equal to 3 and z equal to 4. Okay, so still we cannot expand. Yeah, we can we cannot expand. 
that so is then in uh, log of one plus z it is also not uh, log of one plus z it is also not analytic at z equal to minus one but uh, here what about the point z equal to zero but mod z is what less than one that means what center at origin okay and the radius is less than one so it does not include the point one and minus one okay sir okay Okay, now I think uh, we discussed this problem. Next problem I want to discuss with you. Uh, find the find the Taylor's expansion. About is that equal to zero? About is that equal to zero of the function f of is that equal to is that divided by uh, is that plus one into is that plus uh, three is that minus three? Okay. So uh, similarly, uh, we know that uh, f of is that is what not analytic. At is that equal to minus one and is that equal to three? So now uh, we have to find the expansion about is that equal to zero. So our uh, I'm going to choose R is here less than one. Okay, so we have to find. The largest circle circle it, it can give some a name for the circle gamma or C okay whatever it may be with uh, center at is that equal to zero okay and uh, a radius. Less than one. Okay, less than one. Okay, uh, which which exclude ex exclude the points. Is that equal to minus one, and is that equal to three? So, so we get a circle. mod z is uh, strictly less than 1. Okay. So now use a partial fraction for this function. Split the function. Do it. f of z equal to z by z plus 1 into z plus 3. z minus 3. Okay. That is a by z plus 1 plus uh, b by z minus 3. So what is a and b? Z equal to A into Z minus 3 plus uh, B into Z plus 1. Okay. So now if we substitute Z equal to 3, we have 3 equal to 0 plus uh, 4B. So B equal to uh, 3 by 4. If we substitute Z equal to minus 1, then we have minus 1 equal to minus uh, 4a plus 0. So a equal to 1 by 4. Okay, now f of z equal to uh, 
this is the function f of z, but a is 1 by 4 divided by, I will write uh, z plus 1, so I will write 1 plus z, and the b is uh, 3 by 4, okay, z minus 3, okay, I will write z minus 3, mm -hmm. okay, now, uh, but we know that uh, mod z is less than 1, okay, so this implies it is less than 3, okay, so mod z by 3 is less than 1, okay, now, the of z equal to uh, 1 by 4, I will write uh, this is 1 by 1 plus z, what is the next term? Uh, from this I took commonly minus 3, so plus, uh, not plus, minus 1 by 3 into 3 by 4, the denominator will have what? Uh, 1 minus z by 3, uh, 1 minus z by 3, okay, so 1 by 4, and we know that uh, uh, mod z is uh, less than 1, so that's why I'll write in the numerator this one. After cancelling this, you'll get to minus 1 by 4. Okay, 3, 3 gets cancelled. 1 minus z by 3. Uh, okay, whole power minus 1. So actually, uh, here discussed mod z is less than 1. Okay, what? Well, and also mod z by 3 is also less than 1. So if we took commonly 1 by 4, if we expand this, you will get what? Summation n equal to, okay, first to write 1 minus uh, z plus z square minus z cube plus z power 4 minus and so on, okay. So and then write minus 1 by 4, this minus 1 by 4 is what? 1 plus x plus x square and so on. Okay, you can stop here. So this is enough. Okay, so if you want to write in the form of summation, you can write in, okay, so in the form of summation. So this is the uh, Taylor series expansion of the given function. Next problem and uh, last problem in Taylor series, and then I'll go to Laren series. Uptime Taylor series to represent to represent a function. Uh, z square minus 1 divided by z plus 2 into z plus 3 in the region mod z is less than 2 okay so here the powers are same Okay, in the previous two problems, the numerator power is less than the uh, denominator power, but here the powers are same. Okay, and then and the function, the, the function is not analytic at z equal to minus 2 and uh, minus 3. Okay, so first you should divide the given function, z square minus 1 by, if you Multiply, you get what? Z square plus uh, 2z plus 3z is 5z plus 6. Okay, so 1. So z square plus 5z plus 6. Okay, if you subtract, you'll get what? Uh, minus 5z minus 7. So this function f of z. So let us take f of z equal to z square minus 1 
divided by z plus two uh, into z plus three. So you can write this is one plus or you can take minus commonly. Okay, wa. Um, if you take minus commonly, you'll get what? Five z uh, plus seven. Okay, divided by z plus two into z plus three. Okay, so now uh, expansion of uh, okay, uh, but we know that z equal to minus two and uh, minus three are uh, the function is not analytic. Okay, mm, but they are okay. But the region is what mod z is less than two. Mod z is less than two means centered at the origin. Radius two, so it 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 do not include the point minus two and minus three in this region. Okay, so the region is given in this question, in the, but in the previous problem the region is not given. That's why we choose the region, we choose the circle. Okay, mod is that is less than one. Okay. So now using partial fraction, split the function five is at plus seven by. Is that plus two into is that plus three? That is equal to a by is that plus two plus uh, b by is that plus three? Okay, so five is that plus seven equal to a into is that plus three plus b into is that plus two. Okay, so now uh, I need the value of a and b. Substitute z equal to minus two, so minus ten plus seven equal to a plus zero. So this implies a equal to minus three. Okay, and then substitute z equal to minus three, minus fifteen plus seven equal to zero. Minus uh, minus b. So this implies uh, b equal to eight. So now your f of is that is equal to one minus okay one minus of this function. Uh, a is minus three. So minus of minus uh, okay I'll write minus three divided by z plus two. And then b b is eight divided by z plus three. Or you can write this is one plus three by z plus two minus eight by z plus three. Okay. So and then this is f of z. Okay. And uh, what is given in the the region? The question, modulus of z minus z is less than two, so this implies uh, mod z by two less than one, okay, and mod z by three is also less than one because the reason is uh, two is less than three, okay, two which is less than three. So from this, I have mod z by three less than one. Okay. So now using these two, I am going to expand the series now. So f of z equal to the first term is what? The first term is uh, one. Okay. Uh, and from this, uh, we should take commonly what? We should take commonly. Two, so three by two into one plus z by two, and then minus eight from this set to commonly three one plus z by three. Okay, so this is equal to. One plus uh, three by two, okay, uh, into one plus 
z by 2 whole power minus 1 minus uh, 8 by 3 into 1 plus z by 3 whole power minus 1. Okay. So now we know that mod z by 2 is less than 1, mod z by uh, 3 is also uh, less than 1. So this is equal to 1 plus uh, 3 by 2. So if you expand this, you'll get what? 1 minus x, okay, plus x by 2 whole square minus x by 3 whole cube plus and so on. Or uh, next one, minus 8 by 3. 1 minus z by 3, okay, plus z by 3 whole square, minus z by 3, I think here it is z by 2, uh. I think I am doing some mistakes, yes, yeah, okay, thank you Sheila, z by 3 whole cube, plus and so on. So it is better to write in a short form, okay, I think in the previous problem I missed yeah, otherwise, I will write here. If possible, you can write n equal to 0 to infinity. Uh, this is what? Minus 1 whole power n. Z by 2 whole power n. Okay. Minus, uh, minus 8 by 3. Summation n equal to 0 to infinity. Minus 1 whole power n. Z by 3 whole power n. So next to Lorentz series, so it is time now, okay. So Lorentz series uh, or Lorentz theorem. Yeah. What? Sure. So one second, previous slide. Previous slide, okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, so this is the Lorentz series uh, statement. Okay, uh, if uh, C1 and C2 are two concentric circles, okay, so you can see here C1, this is a C2, a concentric circle uh, with the center at A and uh, radii, this is R1, okay, this is uh, R2. Okay, where R1 is greater than R2. And if f of z is analytic on C1 and C2, okay, and throughout the annular region R, this is the annular region R, okay, between C1 and C2. So then, oh, sorry between them, then at each point Z in R, okay, Z uh, in the region R, okay, then you can write F of Z equal to uh, sum of uh, positive powers of uh, Z minus A and the negative powers of Z minus A. But in the Sailor series expansion, only uh, we write, with, okay, in positive powers of Z minus A, okay, so but here you can write uh, summation n equal to 0 to infinity uh, a n into z minus a whole power n plus uh, summation n equal to 1 to infinity b n into z minus a whole power minus n. Where a n is uh, this function, so 1 by 2 pi i integral over c1 f, f of w, but uh, we are not going to use uh, this one. Okay, just you should uh, know. Uh, these two a n and b n okay uh, so instead of a n b n here w is given here z okay so only uh, the variable is changing okay so either you can write like like this or you can write like this both of them are same so here the positive uh, part that is uh, this part that is a n into z minus a whole power n 
okay is called analytic part or regular part and the negative powers of z minus a that is the second one okay so that is called the principal part of the lorentz series okay so the negative powers is called the principal part the positive powers of z minus a is called analytic part or regular part okay so note taylor series is a series with the positive powers of z minus a so just now we discussed and the lorentz series is a series with the positive and negative integral powers of z minus a and the taylor series of an analytic function is unique and the lorentz series of analytic function in the annular region is unique next if f of z is analytic at a point uh, at a point a okay so this is little bit important 4 and 5 if f of z is analytic at a point a we find a taylor series about a, about the point a fifth one is if f of z is not analytic at a but it is anal but it is analytic in some neighborhood some neighborhood of a then we can find then we find lorentz series of f of z about the point a okay so here only you can apply taylor series okay the function is analytic at a point a then only you can uh, find the taylor series about a but in lorentz series suppose f of z is not analytic at a but it is analytic uh, the function is analytic in some neighborhood of a then we can find the lorentz series of f of z about uh, about the point z equal to a so that is the uh, important point Okay, we should know. So now I think the time is four twenty. Okay, I will give you a twenty minutes break. Okay, uh, come back exactly four uh, forty. Okay, or four forty-five, and then four forty-five to six. I will take the class. So I will try to uh, do uh, a four to five problems in Lorentz series. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Sir, can we leave? Thank sir? you, sir. Ah, uh, sorry. Yes. Sir, can we leave, sir? You can leave if you want. You can leave. Yes. Okay, no problem. If you have any work, you can leave. Uh, no, sir. Uh, we 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 need to be in the meet or we can join.